Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 322 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick. And in today's episode, we're going to be back out in Juana Diaz, Puerto Rico for part two of my documentation of the Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz. And I have a number of surprises in this episode for you guys today. We're going to start out with a photo montage that I put together consisting of photographs of people that were buried in this cemetery, but that I couldn't quite get enough information on them to really talk about them. And then after that, I have a little historical piece about the history of this cemetery for you guys. And following that up will be my normal walkthrough to finish this cemetery off. So there's a lot to look forward to in this episode, so let's get into it. The Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz, located in the town of Juana Diaz in Puerto Rico, is a significant cultural and historical landmark that has served as a resting place for the town's inhabitants for over a century. The cemetery, like many others on the island, offers a window into the social, cultural, and political history of the region, reflecting the changes and continuities in the lives of its people. The history of this cemetery is intertwined with the broader history of Puerto Rico, including its colonial past, 
its transition to a territory of the United States, and the local history of Juana Diaz itself. The origins of the Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz. The exact date of the cemetery's establishment is somewhat unclear, but it is believed to have been founded in the late 19th century, a period of significant change in Puerto Rico. The late 1800s were marked by the island's transition from Spanish colonial rule to becoming a territory of the United States following the Spanish-American War in 1898. During this time, the town of Juana Diaz, like many others across the island, began to see developments in infrastructure, including the establishment of public cemeteries. Prior to the establishment of municipal cemeteries like the one in Juana Diaz, burial practices in Puerto Rico were largely dictated by the Catholic Church. Most burials took place in churchyards or in cemeteries directly managed by the Church. However, with the advent of the liberal reforms of the late 19th century, which sought to modernize and secularize various aspects of public life, municipalities began to take on the responsibility of managing cemeteries. This shift was part of a broader trend across the Spanish-speaking world, where the influence of the church was gradually diminishing in public affairs. Development and Expansion As Juana Diaz grew in population and economic significance, particularly as a hub for agriculture in the southern region of Puerto Rico, the need for a formal, organized burial space became apparent. The Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz was established to meet this need providing a dedicated space for the town's residents to bury their dead. The cemetery was likely modest in its early years, with simple graves and few monuments. However, over time, as the town prospered, and as families sought to commemorate their loved ones with more elaborate tombs and mausoleums, the cemetery grew in both size and complexity. Today, the cemetery features a range of burial sites, from simple graves to more ornate family mausoleums, reflecting the diverse socioeconomic backgrounds of those buried there. Architectural and cultural significance. One of the most notable aspects of the Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz is its architectural diversity. The cemetery, like many others in Puerto Rico, reflects a blend of Spanish colonial and more modern American influences. This is evident in the variety of tomb designs which range from traditional Spanish-style crosses and statues of saints to more modern and secular markers. The presence of elaborate mausoleums, often designed in neoclassical or Gothic styles, speaks to the influence of European architectural trends on the island. The cemetery also reflects the cultural practices of the local population. For example, it is common to see graves adorned with flowers, candles, and other offerings, particularly during important dates such as All Saints Day, Dia de Todos los Santos, and All Souls Day, Dia de los Muertos. These practices are deeply rooted in the Catholic faith, which remains a dominant cultural force in Puerto Rico. The cemetery thus serves as a space where religious and cultural traditions are maintained and passed down through generations. Historical events and notable burials. The Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz is the final resting place of many notable figures from the town's history including political leaders, local heroes, and influential families. The cemetery bears witness to the social history of Juana Diaz with the graves of individuals who played key roles in the town's development. These include former mayors, business leaders, and other prominent citizens whose contributions helped shape the town's identity. The cemetery also holds the remains of veterans who served in various conflicts, including the Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. The presence of these graves reflects Puerto Rico's complex relationship with the United States, particularly in terms of military service. Puerto Ricans have served in the U.S. armed forces in large numbers, and their sacrifices are commemorated in cemeteries across the island, including in Juana Diaz. In addition to individual graves, the cemetery also serves as a site of collective memory for the community. For example, it may include memorials or plaques dedicated to victims of natural disasters or other tragedies that have affected the town. These memorials serve as reminders of the challenges that the community has faced and overcome, and they provide a space for collective mourning and remembrance. Preservation and Challenges As with many historical cemeteries, the Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz faces challenges related to preservation and maintenance. 
The tropical climate of Puerto Rico, with its high humidity, frequent rain, and occasional hurricanes, can take a toll on the cemetery's structures. Over time, tombstones and mausoleums may become weathered or damaged, and the cemetery requires ongoing care to prevent deterioration. Efforts to preserve the cemetery are important not only for maintaining its physical appearance, but also for preserving the historical and cultural heritage that it represents. The cemetery is a valuable resource for historians, genealogists, and others interested in the history of Juana Diaz and Puerto Rico more broadly. It provides insights into the lives of past generations, the evolution of the town, and the cultural practices of the community. However, preservation efforts are often constrained by limited resources. Many municipalities in Puerto Rico face financial challenges, and funding for the maintenance of historic cemeteries may be limited. In some cases, the responsibility for upkeep falls to the families of those buried there. But this can be difficult if descendants have moved away or if the graves are very old. Conclusion. The Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz is more than just a burial ground. It is a testament to the history and culture of the town and its people. Over the decades, it has evolved from a simple cemetery to a site of significant cultural and historical value. The diversity of its graves and monuments reflects the town's social history, from its colonial past to its present-day identity. Preserving this cemetery is essential for ensuring that future generations can continue to connect with their heritage and remember those who came before them. The Cementerio Municipal de Juana Diaz stands as a reminder of the rich history of Juana Diaz and the enduring legacy of its inhabitants. As a place of memory, it holds the stories of countless individuals whose lives have contributed to the fabric of the community, making it a vital part of Puerto Rico's cultural landscape. Thank you.
Thank you.